We are going to be talking today a little bit about periods. Ah! Medicine, definitely. Compounds you are not supposed to flush. Yeah, Stevie. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Cats. Hey guys, welcome back to Nen Fam. So continuing with our littles to middles, we are going to be talking today a little bit about periods. <laughs> I know it's kind of awkward, right? But today we are going to talk a little bit about periods and I have a fun idea. So a lot of my older like teens, they have what they call like, there's a teen emergency kit which has tons of really cool things if in an emergency situation you start your period, right? But when they are actually on that time of the month, they bring like a smaller little thing just to poke in their backpack to have around with them all day long. It's not one of those big things to add in their locker. So today we are going to be putting together like a little period kit for when they start at that time of the month and they're at school and it will just be able to fit right in their backpack. And we will be doing a giveaway for a ton of lucky subscribers out there. It's super easy to enter. So how you'll enter is just at the end of this video, name something that you kind of wish you could put in your like period kit in your backpack that maybe we missed. And so you can give us some good ideas and then you'll be entered to it. So we are going to get started with kind of compiling their kit, but first we are going to call in the pros. All right, the pros have arrived. Hi. Okay guys, I want you to go through your kits that you bring when you're on that time of the month to school to put in your backpack and we're gonna help these guys compile theirs. So show us the outside of your kits first of all. It's like a crochet kind of thing. Super cute little checked bags. All right, before you show us what's inside, let's have these guys choose which one of these kits they are going to go with. Okay, I'm going to let the oldest of the middles choose first. So Paisley, which one are you thinking? I want the top pink one. Hot That's pink. So cute. Kinda got a gold zipper nice, going on. Simple so Regina cute. George. Super cute so Regina cute. George. All right. Just kidding. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Anyway. All right, Delaney, you are next. Which one would you like to choose? This green checkered one. Yeah. So oh, cute. Yeah. Really cute. All right. Next, Presley, you are the next oldest. Which one would you like? Oh, that's actually really cute. Okay. And Elsie, last but definitely not least. This peach one. Cute. So cute. Love it. All right. So now know these are going to be for our cute subscribers and so when you enter to win down below when you add which item that you think would be good to add to these bags you can also put on there which bag you think is the cutest the floral the little duck the little bear the bunny yes. this one with the smiley face and <laughs> rainbow and the orange and white checkered the pink on pink checkered or the ice cream cones okay all right guys are you ready to tell them the first item let's start with lily what is the okay. first item you want them to add to their kit? First item you need to add is medicine. medicine. This is just like ibuprofen because you know when you get cramps you need some ibuprofen. Okay, so that's very helpful. Now I'm sorry guys, but the subscribers that win these kits will not have medicine in just because we don't want, want to send out medication. That's something to talk to your parents about, but a good idea to add. So... You middles, here is the My Doll. Just take one, please. It's kind of like Tylenol, but it is specific for to help you with your time of the month. And so it says it has multi-symptom relief of cramps, bloating, fatigue, headache, and backache. I don't know about those claims, but I like My Doll. Yes, take one on bloated, Sayla. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, the next item that you think, Sadie, is a definite must in these kits. Show us what you think. Definitely. Tampons. Ooh. Tampons. Okay, these specific tampons are awesome. They are oh. click tampons. We love these at the Nelson House because they're so teeny tiny. Like, look at how small they are. They're just tiny. And how they work is you just take off this little top and pull it out. And you just only touch the end. That's really important. How it works is you just click this out. Make sure you hear the click like that, and then you're able to use them. Now, middles, I have not really shown you 
how a tampon works, but this is how it works. So you will insert the tip up to this part. You hold it right there and you push with this side and this part goes in and it stays in and then you just pull this plastic part out and throw it away yes. in the trash. I know that thing. So usually in my family, we don't kind of instruct how to use tampons until you're a little bit older. I would say like 13 or 14 is when usually because they're helpful when you're going swimming because you can't really swim with a pad. You can only swim with a Unless tampon. Unless you wanted to get like a baby's diaper when they go. Yeah, I think <laughs> the pad would soak up all the water. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's good to you to learn how to use these. But again, okay. girls that are home, always talk to your parents about if they're okay with you using a tampon. Some people don't think that that's um, right for them. And so always talk to your parents about things like this. Okay, so I will go ahead and give you guys just one or two of the tampons. Mm -hmm. All right. There's two for you and two for you. Perfect. Next item, navy. What do you think is the next item that they should definitely have in their kit? Yeah, I think they should definitely have these package wipes. Yes, those are a must. Awesome. Nice. So yeah, just nice. like in the bathroom stall, just to clean everything off, mm -hmm. like and you can just clean it all off and it's wet so it helps get it really clean. Yes. So these are individually wrapped flushable, which is important, wipes. So just FYI, I'm gonna go over the flushable thing. Tampons, you are not supposed to flush. Yeah, right? yeah Phoebe. So just <laughs> keep that in mind. Sadie no found out the hard way. She tried to flush it at a public oh. restroom and the toilet broke and anyway. You're not supposed to flush these. You are definitely not supposed to flush pads ever 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 so these are wipes that you can flush which is super nice and so what makes these so great is they're individual so you can just use the one and it won't dry out what's left in the pack they're is super there a tiny between the colors i think that this one is scented as feminine fresh and i think this one is unscented oh. so these have a little bit of a scent and these have no scent i would just take two or three total so would you like scented or unscented scented you want scented okay i'll give you three three good sparkling three. water Three of those. I want unscented. Actually, I think these are both unscented, to be honest. These must just be made for like anything, but this is kind of specifically made for feminine fresh. Oh, so I'll have some. Either one. Do you want the pink ones? Sure, the blue ones. Okay. Have some of both. Can I have one of the green ones? Sure. Do you want to hand me back one of the pink ones? I'm going to add a couple of these to each of the bags. So our next item, Lily, we're back to you. What would you say? Pads. Pads. You're definitely gonna want these. All right. Especially so. if you don't know how to use a tampon yet, I would highly suggest to get some pads. Yeah, pads for sure. And so we are going to use these pads. I love these. Let me show you these. Okay, so this is how they come. And let me just show you little middles and tweens, how this works. You open it up just like this, okay? And this right here is gonna expose some sticky parts of the pad, okay? And this is the back part, has the sticky part as well. So let me show you really quick on some new undies. So you take your underwear, these are new underwear, and so what you do is you just, while you have them on, you just pull them down, so you, your legs just kinda hold them out like this. I know it's a little embarrassing. You take it off, tee -hee. You take it off the back sticky part, okay? And you place it right here in your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know it's a little awkward to talk about this kind of stuff, but it's okay. All right, and then the next step is you take off this part. Again, this part just goes in the garbage, not in the toilet. And then you take these wings, they're called, and you wrap them around the side edges of your underwear. That protects them so that if the pad itself leaks a little bit, we got, some, really we got some giggles going on around here. If your pad leaks a little bit, it doesn't get onto the sides of your underwear, which is super wow. important to try to protect the sides of your underwear. All right? Now, this is one of the most important parts of a pad. When you take it off, you take it off, okay? And then if you have the new pad you're putting on, if you have the outside of the new pad that you're putting on, go ahead and take it off of the new pad, put your old pad on it, stick it to it, roll it up back into the new cover that you just got off of the new pad, and then you can stick it, and so it kind of covers up all of the like messy part of the pad, right? That's mm -hmm. Yes, and then you do not want to flush this. You go ahead, usually a lot of stalls have the little tiny garbage. That's where you put it in. And the next item I will show you if they don't have a garbage in the stall. Here's some pads for Delaney. Some pads for Elsie, the little giggler in town. <laughs> some pads for Paisley and some pads for Russell. Presley. Russell. 
All right, guys, we took a little break because Presley has a foot that's asleep and won't wake up. And so we traded their spots and it's on to the... Wait, what's that? Why is there an alarm? Get it, because her foot's asleep. Oh! <laughs> It just woke up. It just woke up? Really? Okay, that's how to fix a tingly foot, everyone, is turn on an alarm. All right, next we're going to have Sadie tell us another item that is a must-have. This. This is for when you don't have a trash can in whatever building you're in. Like, oh, like in the actual stall? Yeah. Okay. For, like your period stuff. And so this is like a travel one that you use yourself and then go throw it away outside. So basically what I was talking about, there's not a little garbage in the stall. You put your pad or your tampon and all the stuff inside of this bag. And then you can leave the stall and go out into the bathroom part and throw it in the trash can without like showing everybody your yucky stuff in your yes. hand. Right? Does and that make sense? It has like a closed thing so you can peel this tab off. Yeah, and just close yeah. it so you feel sanitary. all sanitary and such. All right. All right, I'll give a couple of these to each of you lucky subscribers. All right, giving each of you a couple bags. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right, our last item is up to you, Navy. What do you think? Hand sanitizer. Yeah. All right, nice. After Love using it. all of that stuff and putting it in the garbage <laughs> and throwing away, you're going to need some of that. Yeah, and sometimes there's not a sink to wash your hands. Now, normally I would say the best way to sanitize your hands is to wash them first and uh, wash them with soap and with warm water and then dry them off and then as an added benefit, add the sanitizing spray. But if you don't have water or access to it, like if you're camping or whatever, it's perfect to use this. So here is one of these for each of you and go backwards. Yours and yours, yours and yours. Perfect. And then I will give each of you a sanitizing spray. All right, guys, now that you have assembled your period kit, again, you're gonna put those in your backpack like the week that you're on that time of the month, right? So it's just a good place to have all of it all together. I'm gonna super discreet, like when you're on your period, you just <laughs> grab it out of your backpack really fast and go. So do you guys have any questions? Wait, how old are you when you start your period? Um, let me look this up real quick. This is what it said. It said anywhere from ages from 13 to 14. It's generally when. But it, most of the time people start whenever their bodies are naturally. Yeah, raised. some people can start as early as like seven or eight, to be honest. Yeah. It's not great. What? Some people can start as late as 18 or 20. Yes, it's crazy. So, but for the most part, it's right in there. So, any other questions? Can people tell when you're on your period? Anybody? You grumpy. I mean, yourself can, but eh, it depends. Some people get moody. Yeah, sometimes yeah, I can yeah. tell when someone's on their period. You like this? <gasps> you get moody, or you're tired, or, or you're you don't want to sisters. But they can't there. see that yeah. you're on your period. Yeah. So it's not like everybody knows that you're on your period. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and that's happened before, I think, to a lot of people. So don't get super embarrassed if you bleed through your pants. Just discreetly go to the restroom and maybe call your mom or somebody that can bring you a new pair of pants. We've actually had that happen before a few times. So it's not the end of the world, I promise, because all girls will feel for you. They'll all be like, oh man, that's happened to me before. I feel so bad for them. So don't feel super self-conscious if that yeah. happens. All right, any other questions? Do cramps hurt? Yes. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't, it's it's yes. so weird. For some people, cramps hurt really super bad bad and for other people they don't really get cramps like, i don't really get cramps ever i just get mostly get it on the first day and that's it oh okay i get it maybe a little bit but it only lasts a couple hours and it doesn't even hurt too bad like i, I don't even have to take medication every single day of my period and it lasts like all day long and it's miserable and it's super I painful <laughs> yeah so, so everybody's body is so different but again if you have cramps just like let your parents know and they can help give you some medication to help how long does a period usually last a period it usually lasts how long guys for mine it only lasts three to five days yeah so like about a week yeah some people up to seven days but most people like Sometimes five six what? days if your body is much. like I thought it was stressed for different years. things so it can what? last longer or shorter it just usually depends she thought it was once a year all right so how often we all wish <laughs> i wish don't wish how often do we usually start our period, guys? Every month. 
It's usually like every 28 to 30 days. Yeah. yeah. So pretty commonly it's 28 to 30 days. And at first, not super regular. So you might start your time of the month and then might not even start for a few months. And that's yeah. okay. Yep. So no worries there. Any other questions? Um, I think that's it. Is that all the questions you can think of? Yeah. Do you guys feel prepared? Yes. yes. All right. And guys, these go in your backpack, not in your locker. In your locker is your teen emergency yes. kit. And I've been thinking, do you um, kind of like new tweens, would, would you guys like to have a teen emergency kit, but maybe a mini one that can kind of fit in your backpack all the time? Maybe. Like that has all of the fun same stuff that the, the teen emergency yeah. kits have? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. That's maybe we'll have you guys help come compile a teen emergency kit for yeah. these tweens. We'll call it a tween emergency kit. Yeah. And just make it mini so it can fit in their backpack. So it'll be so cute. Okay, so that video will be coming soon to Not Enough Nelsons. All right, guys, make sure that you comment down below what item you would like added and which of these kits you would want for the giveaway. All right, guys, love you all.